Um, I'm just curious what you think of the game of hockey and how it's evolved over time to what it is today, both on the male side and the female side, how it's changed, where it appears to be going in terms of the game we knew and the game that becoming now. Yeah, um, obviously there were two totally different styles back then, before uh, 72, when the Soviet Union played their way of hockey, which was based on mobility and 20 guys doing the same thing or playing the same way, and high, high conditioning, puck movement, interchange from position and so on, and uh, NHL, where you had Smaller rosters, uh, better guys play much more. It was more of a standing still game with with um, um, yeah with the power instead of uh, mobility, um, and also uh, more brutal game. And uh, I think uh, parallel to hockey's development, society have changed. Uh, it's still a French French, as I think it's in English, of uh, spectators who enjoy the blood. But there is a lot of opportunities for them to go and see WWF and all kind of things they call themselves. And hockey doesn't have to compete with that kind of sport anymore. They, in, on the US market, they had to compete with football before, but um, now they are so established so they have their own fan base. Um, and um, at the same time, it's not okay for uh, having uh, star players injured. Uh, it's a big loss in the capacity of the team but also a big loss in the investment and a big loss in the attraction. And I can't remember when Scott Stevens uh, won the MVP. When was that? New Jersey won the cup and Scott Stevens got the MVP. Back in late 80s or early 90s, whatever. Um, I said, I mean, th these guys must be absolutely crazy because he took out the star player every round. He took out Korea, he took out Eric Lindros, and he took out one more who I forgot who that was now. And they're making the MVP. Like, he's the guy who ruined the entertainment value for all these owners, and also the entertainment value for the people who buy the season tickets. And that's the MVP. And I think nowadays they, they think totally different. They don't, they cannot afford to have players injured. There is an insurance issue too with the concussions and those things that we heard from NFL. And then um, we, um, we want the best players to play better. So when they started with four referees, when they did the end zones bigger, um, things started to change a bit. And then um, it became much more a play game the way the Russians played back in the 70s. No one will say that in NHL and no one will say that in Canada that we are copying the communist Soviet Union style of playing. Um, it's not a good marketing tool. But if you look at it, just the, the way everyone breaks out on the power play now with the backpack in neutral zone, when did you see that in the 70s or 80s or 90s in the, in the NHL? Um, as good as Edmonton Oilers was with uh, Kent Nielsen came in and obviously Gretzky and the great ones uh, having a lot of finesse, a lot of playmaking, this uh, free flow skating was uh, not the main way of playing. And uh, now it's starting to be. And you, you see a forward swinging behind the defenseman for drop passes and you're picking up speed with three guys deep around the blue line or deep in the zone and attack. It's, it's, uh, it's getting much more of a play, creative game than um, a um, defensive battle. And I don't know if female hockey has a lot to do with it, but if you see the development of female hockey, they are certainly leading the way there. Um, they are two steps ahead of not having uh, body checking, so they can allow themselves to make these plays where, um, where um, male hockey players still might only have the option to chip and chase because uh, there's no time to make places to make plays. Uh, when, when I when I coached the Oval Extreme and we had all these um, Canadian Olympians on the team, the first thing I got so impressed of was how they can get the puck to the center by the breakout. And then I realized that, yeah, they can do that, not because the center is that great, but because the center doesn't have to worry that he, he or she, in this case, would get her head knocked off if she looked too much at the, at the puck. So um, centers like the Agena uh, Kingsbury and, um, and playmakers like um, 
Tessa von Holm, uh, von Holm. Those, those guys, guys look like superstars because they didn't have to worry about getting taken out of the play before they made a play or received the pass. They could actually play. And uh, if you look at the females today, like our South African males team who are big and strong and very much Canadian mentality in this country, we wouldn't last 10 minutes against the Canadian females team. We would be, the game would be over in the first period. We had, would have no chance to keep up with them. And um, I think the hockey for male is going that direction. Um, we don't want people to get hurt. We don't want the static defensive battle. We want to, the stars to shine and we want the creativity and mobility that makes hockey so unique. Um, it, only in hockey, from all the sports, you skate. Only in hockey, you can just skate 100 miles an hour and then, and, and then glide and you still go 100 miles an hour as you do all these uh, fancy things. Um, and yeah. The hockey is going in my direction, in my opinion, towards the, the way the Soviet Union played 40 years ago. And, um, and, and uh, that's for the better of the game. With that said, now, youth hockey should play that way anyway, because they don't develop if they play some trap hockey or um, don't, uh, chip and chase. Um, too many times you got maybe three lines are not allowed to do anything than what the coach tell them to do. And maybe one line is to do something. And at the end of the season, that line we were allowed to, do, allowed to do something has to play double shift now because the other guys have not developed. So um, I'm really happy to see the development. Biggest end zones, four referees, let the best players play, create sp uh, space for them, and be very hard on the brutal play because uh, we don't need it. Bjorn, uh, Daryl Belfry has put his hand up. I'm so happy he's joined because to me, uh, the two of you 